right. You guys want to learn how to build these uh, custom door clips? Man, you guys in the right video. I'm telling you, you're not a real journey person until you've made custom clips for these doors. So stay tuned because that's coming right up. guys so I got these frames and these are the adjustable frames I'm gonna be showing you guys how to prep them in this video and make make the custom clips for them you can see the sizes are adjustable um, I am building them for a 3 and 5 8 wall with 5 8 on both sides so I need to have a perfect they have to be per perfectly finished and I need and I need an I need an opening here of 4 and 7 8 that is the three and five eighths wall plus two layers of five eighths. Okay, uh, I need to have that perfectly on four and seven eighths all the way. So these clips have to be mint, right? Four and seven eighths. Most of the time, when you get these frames, they're four and three quarter. That's why you're always fighting with them. But anyways, so I lay the top like the the standard track and a stud are together, okay? Because I use a piece of stud and a piece of standard track to make these clips. So I don't go and I measure all of them at once. I only measure one at a time and I square it because I ha they have to be square and the measurement has to be perfect. So I cut them, I even verify them after, but just watch here, this is how I cut them. Like always square your stud there because you want to make the, the gate on the chop saws, they get banged around and they're not always square. So you want to make sure you're cutting these perfectly square. Uh, you can see here, yeah, use the clamp, make sure the ends are flush and uh, clamp the two together. Measure square every single clip. You want them to fit, they have to fit snug in the door, right? And these are these are going to be your spacers. They're gonna fit perfectly in, just like a normal clip would. If you wanna learn more about using the chop saw, I am coming out with more videos on that. Uh, just stay tuned, get subscribed, and you'll see more videos on how to cut the studs by hand and chop saw. That always will be coming out. See so here how I'm verifying every piece, making sure that every single one is perfect size because they have to be perfect. Otherwise, the door will be messed up, right? So every single cl uh, clip here that I'm making, they're exactly the same size, and they're perfect. Otherwise, I would modify them or remake them, okay? So these are all five and three quarters long. Okay, because I have a there's a three quarter inch lip and you know three quarters three quarters of an inch of flanges on those three eighths either side. There's a three eighths flange so that the clip has to snugly go in to the outside of the casing. So you want for a three and five eighths wall with five eighths drywall, you want them to be five and three quarter long. And I just put one screw in either side, like obviously reverse from each other. The other trick is they have to be see these sliding plates here. Okay, they have to be on top of those to per be perfectly snug. They have to actually be right on top of those. So before I uh, screw those in at the right size, I slip in the clips and I just kind of slip them in just to just so there's a little bit of that uh, that ch channel left that I can actually put a heavy gauge wafer through to keep its size. But first thing I want to do is I want to verify. I'm always verifying. You can, I'll be taking my pulling my tape measure out all the time with these there you go there see see once i know they're good i screw them in with a heavy gauge wafer okay just one screw in each and then i'll hammer them down they got to be over top of those plates otherwise they won't be snug in there right so now they're nice and snug um over top the plate these are amazing clips by the way these are even better quality than the ones you buy 
So yeah, whether your supplier didn't uh, didn't they didn't come with the door, or and you can't wait for them, or you just you know want to save some money. Trust me, if you don't have the clips of the door, this is this is the fastest way. Um, and it really doesn't. It takes about two hours to fully make the clips, build the door, and install it. So it takes about two hours a door. Right, so and this is the second door right here. Um, I'm just putting them all in. I'm verifying. I, I just snuck. I put them all in, right? Uh, and then I then I snug them up and verify the opening sizes are good. And then I'll put the heavy gauge wafer in the sliders there and the track there so that the door stays perfectly, um, you know, at four and seven eighths all the way down for the opening. Yeah, you got to put the middles in. Sometimes they'll slip in. If you open the, the the frame all the way, they'll slip in. But generally, I just, you know, put them in at the top and the bottom. They'll slip slip over. But they can slip in that way. But, yeah, you don't want to push uh, hammer them in all the way yet because you want to be able to get that wafer in there, that heavy gauge wafer in there to keep them from uh, moving, right? And it's amazing because the clips are tight. You got the wafer in there. These are very, very strong frames, okay? They don't have the angle at the bottom for hammer drilling them into the concrete. So you got to keep that into consideration, okay? You need to have these are have to be very, very strong. And they are. These are... And this is the only way to do it, right? You can use um, uh, different gauges of steel if you'd like, uh, but make sure you have to test and see what works, right? The um, um, the track here, this is light gauge, 25 gauge, 3 and 5 eighths, a piece of track cupping like over top of a stud. And uh, this works perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. So yeah, you can see here I'm checking something, uh, I think maybe the other one actually. Yeah, they're in a, then I hammer them into pl into play. Oh right, there we go. Yeah, I found that there was a there was a a piece of metal down there that spread it out too far. So now I moved it above the 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 slip there. Um, it's gonna end up in the same place at the end because I'm gonna just put the screw in at the bottom instead of the top there, and then bang the uh, clip over top of those slider things there. Hey, eh? those slider tracks for the uh, width of the 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 jam. You notice I'm I'm verifying the middle as well. All right, so I met I verify each spot, the top, the middle, and the bottom. Yeah, this one didn't work, and I can't slide this one above because of the the hinge, the hinge part, right? I can't. Uh, so yeah, I just modify it. I'm just grinding it down. Um, I, I flip it on both sides here. I'm just using the, the chop saw here as a grinder, basically. I'm grinding it down to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, there's a piece of metal in the door frame that is, um, you know, that is prohibiting me from closing it to four and seven eighths. So here I'm just shortening, shortening it, you know, a little bit. And do the do this in small stages, right? If you got to check a few times, no problem. I was lucky here; I got it right in the first try because I, I knew it was just a little bit anyway. Um, but then, yeah. So there you go. I'm gonna verify it. Boom, four and seven eighths. It's mint. Um, so yeah, everything's mint. I'm gonna go and check. Everything is gonna be mint, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always checking, triple check, quadruple check, whatever. Uh, it's easier than um, having to adjust the stuff after it's the frame's already built and in. So. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, this is good. I was really happy with how these doors turned out. Uh, they turned amazing. So w watch to the end of the video, and I'll be linking the other two videos in this series. Uh, th actually, this has turned out to be a five-video series uh, as of now, um, but I'm going to be adding a couple more videos or at least one more video to the series, so it'll probably end up being six videos on actually hanging the door and doing the door hardware. I'm going in tomorrow to actually shoot that. So I'll be adding the, that video to the to this door series as well. So stay tuned for that. I'll be showing you how to do the hardware and you know the door knob and the hinges and get that get the slab hung right. So there you go. You can see me there using that heavy gauge screw, just one screw in each of those tracks. Right, double check, right? Check, make sure it worked out. Make sure it worked out. And then yeah, you just put one uh, wafer in each one of those. And each, all six of those clips are tight. They're, they are tightly. You'll see it here in a second. I actually do give you a, a close-up shot of the clips in the front, in the jams here. And they're, they are very tight. So that's what you want. You want, they can't be loose. They have to be tight. Snug, right? 
Yeah, every time I sent something might have changed or goofed up, right? I'm always checking um, the, you know, to make sure that it, it, it turned out. See, tape measure again, right? Nope, oh, it, it moved, right? So now I got to do it again. Because you can't clamp these. You can't clamp these. There's not enough room to put a clamp on these. So you got to, that's why I like having the, the clips have to be mint. So then you just squeeze the jam together on these adjustable ones and it's good. There you go. You can see the screw in each one. There you go. I had to, had to make uh, adjustments on that one. But yeah, four and seven eighths finished there for the three and five eighths wall double or single layer five eighths both sides. That's a one hour fire door. See there how tight that is? Tight. Every clip is tight in the in the jam. Right? That is important. Okay. And then I'm gonna hammer them over top right now. See, I'm gonna hammer them over top of the tracks there, and that snugs them in, snugs them in nice and tight to the uh, to the jam there on the flanges. Right? Those are perfect, perfect clips. You know, these are better quality than the ones you buy. Trust me. Yeah, these are the best quality clips that you could use for a door. But um, with the, the clips that come with the doors, I can install a door. In, you know, if a door has come pre-built and with clips, I can install it in 20 minutes. But these doors take two hours to build, build the clips, uh, you know, build the door frame, and then install them, right? It takes two hours a door. So it's quite a lot different. And then, yeah, here we go. I'm, I'm going to set the header uh, width as well. You want it to be four and seven eighths, but there's no clips in the header, right? So you gotta, you just gotta do it freehand. It's un, it's unfortunate you can't get cl clamps in there. You can't clamp those together. There, there's not enough room to get any, uh, even a baby clamp in there. So you just gotta, you know, they're nice and rigid, so they're they don't slip too much. But yeah, just put a screw in either end again. And uh, yeah, these clips are like, man, you're, I'm telling you, you're seriously not a journey person until you've built custom clips and built one of these three piece doors, you know, and installed them. Yeah. The, you gotta, you have to do a couple of these in your career. Just, just, uh, just so you know, this is good knowledge to have. Um, but yeah, the, one of the, one of my favorite journeymen of all time, he, he taught me this, uh, technique. His name, Peter, Peter music. He's an amazing guy, uh, out here in Edmonton who, um, yeah, just taught me so much. I was a really lucky, lucky uh, apprentice to have such good journeymen in my career. Um, and now I'm, I'm thankfully, uh, sharing it, all my knowledge with you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying the videos make sure you give me a thumbs up and, and share these videos out. Uh, if you're getting value from them, you check this out. Yes. Yeah, so the clips are tight. Everything's tight and screwed off. And then, and yeah, so in the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to build the frames, right? And, and then I'll also have another video on how to install them as well. So this whole video series, if you watch all these videos in this series, the, man, you're going to be like a pro. So here on the left, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the frame. And on the right, I'm going to be showing you how to build the frame. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is Chris. See you on the next one.